Hi everyone, one question I get asked often is whether the cable that you use to charge your phone or your power bank or other mobile device actually matters. Are all cables the same? For instance here we've got two cables that look pretty much the same, they're both about the same length, they're both white and they're both micro USB, but they have a big difference in the way they charge your device. Now to show the difference, I'm going to test both cables charging this mobile power bank and I'm going to be doing a review about this power bank soon because there's a few special features about this that really set it apart from every other power bank that's on the market. Now to measure it, I'm going to use my Porter Power USB watt meter. So the only thing that really tells these two cables apart is the fact that one is thicker than the other one. Now cable thickness doesn't necessarily mean that one is better than the other, although it usually means that the wires inside are thicker and therefore it's likely to carry more power. So let's start with the thinner one first. I'll start by plugging my watt meter into my multi-port USB charger and then I'll plug the thin cable into the output of this and I'll plug that into my power bank. Now the power bank has a low battery right now, I made sure to run it down so that we could get an accurate reading of the maximum input over this cable. So that's that cable plugged in. Now let me zoom in on this display. So you can see it's at 5 volts and around half an amp and it's carrying 2.7 watts. Now that's charging pretty slowly, 2.7 watts, and I know that this uh, power bank can charge very fast. So I'll zoom out, I'll take that cable out and we'll swap to the thicker one and see how that does. I'll plug it into the power bank and I'll zoom in on this screen. And there you go, you can see we're now charging at just under 5 volts, but we're getting 2.6 amp and we're charging at 13 watts. So that's going to charge much quicker. And all we've done is basically swapped out this cable here, which came from a very cheap, low quality power bank. Um, I actually took this from the CDR King 99 peso power bank, and I've just swapped it with this cable here, which actually came with this power bank. And immediately you can see a huge difference. This is going to charge much faster, and it would be the same if it was your mobile phone, your cell phone, your iPad, anything like that, cable quality really does matter and it can have a huge difference on how fast your device charges. Now although I said that generally the thicker the cable the better the quality, that's not always the case because sometimes they make the cable thick just basically to trick you. Now if you look at the thickness in these ones, I've also got this cable here, black cable, and that's about the same thickness as this low quality cable. Now this is made by Fleur, um, which came from a thermal infrared camera, and if I plug that in here, and then zoom in on the watt meter, and you can see we're measuring just under 5 watts, 2.9 amp, 14 and a half watts. So again, substantially better than this cheaper cable. So yes, cable quality definitely does matter. And the chances are that if you bought a high quality device, for instance, this power bank, which is a very good brand, or say a Samsung phone or something like that, the supplied cable is probably gonna do much better than a cheap cable that you'd buy at you know, a cheap Chinese store for 50 cents or a dollar. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.